there are a lot of manufacturers that are working on devices, uh, including something as simple as a smartphone, that could hold applications and be part of this communications network that could be used to warn both drivers that there might be a pedestrian or a bicyclist on the road, but also warn the bicyclist or the pedestrian that there might be a vehicle approaching. A lot of the uh, automotive manufacturers talked about by 2020, they're going to have certain levels of automation, certainly uh, Google, and it's nearly driverless vehicle, uh, has gotten a lot of press recently. So in the Google vehicle, you'll see a lot of sensors uh, installed on the vehicle itself. While they're important, there are certain situations, certain scenarios, crash scenarios, that in fact sensors on the vehicle by themselves aren't sufficient. Uh, example being sensors can't see around corners, a busy intersection in an urban environment. Uh, sensors uh, currently uh, on vehicles, radars, image processing, etc., can't see multiple vehicles ahead in a traffic stream when someone all of a sudden has to slam on the brakes. Wireless communication really fills certain gaps uh, that can't be addressed by vehicle-based sensor technology. So connected technology is uh, effectively a wireless means of communicating information between vehicles, but also vehicles in the infrastructure, and ultimately between all road users, including pedestrians, bicyclists. Uh, so they understand things like when the light's going to turn red or when it's going to turn green, whether there are emergency vehicles approaching at an intersection. There's literally thousands of different types of applications that can be deployed once you know where all the vehicles are located and you understand kind of the traffic dynamics and what the phasing of the signals are. Uh, think of communication, wireless communications, as just one more sensor. It's another type of information uh, that is going into the vehicle and helping it to decipher where threats might exist um, how to maneuver around such threats, and at what point might the driver actually have to intervene. Uh, there are lots of other things that you can achieve out of connected vehicle technology, like improved mobility, um, energy savings. Connected vehicle technology, perhaps more than any other vehicle technology that I've experienced in the last 20 years, really has garnered a uh, wide base of support. Uh, from the de departments of transportation, from the individual communities, uh, certainly from the automotive manufacturers and the tier one suppliers, um, but also advocacy groups in terms of you know, saving bicyclists and pedestrian lives. The future of automation and driverless vehicles is going to be based in large part on connected vehicle technology. It's not going to happen without it. I'm driving a Chevy Volt, which is what's called a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Uh, I consider it to be a marvel of modern technology because it can travel about 35 miles on battery power.